Today's project is going to be an overhaul of my fridge. I've always wanted to do this. I've tried for so many years. Um, you know, since I've lived on my own at the age of 18, I have tried to always organize the fridge as best as I can and it always ends up a mess. And I got to a point where I was feeling like I was wasting too much food because I really couldn't see some of it. You know, it's just kind of like one of those things where I'm just going to flat out admit that if the fridge looks messy, I'm going to be lazy about what I'm searching for in it. Um, so it was just a process that I felt like was not good. I needed to update it. I needed to do something different than what I was doing before because it just wasn't working. So one of the things that I've always wanted to do and never really did full on was buy organizers for my fridge. And so that's what I've done. I'll link the ones that I can down below that I got from Amazon, but um, I also got some of these things from Dollar Tree as well. So I will point those things out as um, we progress through this video. So as you can see, the first thing that I had to do straight away was empty the entire fridge and then clean it. So that was first step, empty the fridge. Second step, clean. Um, this definitely needed a clean and I'm also going to tell you guys straight up, I do not clean my fridge as much as I think I probably should. I, sh I, I really don't know what the magic date is. I mean, I feel like, you know, cleaning a fridge once a week is a great number, but I think maybe at the bare minimum once a month it probably needs a good like wipe down and get everything out like I'm doing here but I just don't do that so I feel like now that I'm gonna be organizing bins and food is going to be more positioned in like clear bins rather than just kind of loosely flying around the fridge I feel like the fridge will probably stay a lot cleaner in this instance as well so you can just see here that that's what I'm doing. I'm just giving this a good clean. Um, the glass, you're gonna see here, you can see the glass below. Um, you can see this, the spills and stuff. I had to actually remove the entire glass so that I could get into that and get it all cleaned up. So it just felt, it felt so good. Even if you don't have the bins on you today um, or you don't, you know, want to do that process, just a good fridge clean out. If that's, you know, the inspiration that you get from today's video, you will feel so much better. So you can see here that I've popped out that glass piece and I cleaned it um, off camera, but it definitely needed some scrubbing too because there was crust and stuff on the glass. So you can see here that I'm just uh, cleaning the trim that holds the glass and yeah, I just can't believe I, I let it get that dirty. Once I have the fridge all cleaned out, and by the way, this is just the refrigerator part of it. Um, the freezer was not included in this. It really didn't need that much organization. Um, so that's, we're just focusing on the fridge. But this is a Dollar Tree storage container specifically made for eggs. And I'm making sure that I'm also putting, you know, certain, the eggs that come in the container in its own organizing container because they both have different expiration dates. So I'm just making sure that I'm not mixing the eggs that came in the original container in the new storage. You're going to see later on how I handle the expiration date of um, the food as well since I am removing most of it out of its original packaging. Um, but for now, as you can see, I've got these clear bins, these large ones. I got them in a pack of four from Amazon, again, linked down below for you guys. And one of the things for me in this fridge was that I don't have a second fridge um, to hold, you know, drinks and stuff. And so I was using the middle drawer of my fridge for all the sodas, and I really did not like that. I felt like it wasn't the best use of space. Um, and it created quite a problem with how I organized 
like vegetables because I really needed that middle drawer for vegetables. And so I realized, you know, I thought, you know what, I don't need to fill the fridge up with all the soda cans that I have. So what I opted to do instead was just use two of those, those four bins for soda cans. And then you can see one has all ginger ale and then one, the other one has a mix of Sprite and Sunkist. And that's it, and, you know, and once those start running low on sodas, I'll just pop a few more in. And I love this too because the cans stay compact in those bins and they don't fly around. And I've just freed up that entire, you know, middle drawer. And my favorite part. So these glass jars are also from Amazon. I think they're just beautiful. Um, and I, I knew that I wanted to get things like orange juice and milk out of their original containers. Uh, I just think that it looks more pleasing as well. And this is one of those things where maybe it's not, everybody doesn't react this way, but for me, I'm gonna reach more for food and drinks if I feel like it just looks pleasing to my eye. I mean, I really don't know how else to describe this, but it's just, if I feel like the fridge just looks nice and I don't even know if peaceful is the right word, but just not chaotic, it's just gonna make me feel good to like pull things. So you can see here that I only have two of these glass jars because I knew when I ordered these, one was gonna be for milk and one was going to be for orange juice. Um, the next set of glassware is actually from Dollar Tree, and if you find these, I'm telling you, they are probably top 10 best dollar pickup from that store of all time. And it's these water carafes, crafts. I'm sorry, I really don't know if I'm saying that right. But as you can see here, I'm using them for lemonade. I had two, um, two bottles of lemonade, so I decided to go ahead and use pour both lemonades into it, especially since I didn't have any other drink to pour into the second one. So both of them obviously are filled up with lemonade, but you know, if you if you make juices at home or or anything like that, you know, raspberry lemonade or tea or, or whatnot, um, those are going to be perfect for it. I'm on the hunt to buy two more from Dollar Tree, so hopefully I can find them. Here is the third of the fourth storage bin in which I'm putting in like miscellaneous drinks or non-soda drinks, non-carbonated, I guess you could say. So I have uh, coconut water and then my ocean spray drinks. That cran mango, if you have not tried it, try it. You will be surprised. It is delicious. And then I add my pineapple juice. I love pineapple juice because it's an anti-inflammatory and it's so good for you. So we've got all the drinks and this is exactly what I was shooting for. I Now I have all of the things to drink like right in front of me, all in one spot. And the rest of this process is just, you know, plugging in the rest of the food. As time goes on and, and I get used to this new organization, I may move things around, but this is um, where my mind was going at the time. One full drawer for my bell peppers. Um, that's the other thing I listen I I always like want to find new recipes and try new things but I also try to be re very realistic to the vegetables that I know I will eat and the top two honestly being bell peppers and broccoli which you see here so and here's that middle drawer this was filled with soda cans and all the things. You can see that I also wiped that down so it looks nice and clean. Um, so now I'm just going to basically, you know, start putting some things in, try to feel this out. The other thing that I am missing are more containers for fruit. I only have two and you're gonna see them here, right here, the strawberry ones. Those are also from Dollar Tree. Um, but I need more because I also buy raspberries, you saw the blueberries, and then I have grapes. So I need to get a couple more of those containers for the other fruits. Then I have these clementines and these bins are, I actually picked up this morning from TJ Maxx and they were $4.99. Um, a very good store to get organizers are stores like HomeGoods and TJ Maxx too as well. Um, so you can see here, well, the one in the back, I, I guess I didn't film a clip, but it just has cheeses in it, like cream cheese, sharp cheddar cheese, all the things, and then the one in the front obviously had the clementines. And then I added some yogurt to, you know, the spaces that are just like tight, 
tight in height, I guess. So I was just trying to make sure that I was organizing as best as possible, trying to save space. And then I work on the, the arm of the fridge and just putting back in the condiments and, and all the things and, and yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and keep organizing and then I'm gonna talk in a, in a bit. I think that it's definitely looking more fresh, more organized, and definitely more clean. Um, and I can see everything properly. And that was really the ultimate goal. I want to make sure that I can see my food. You know, it got to a point where because I had no organization system, I was just like pushing things in and forcing things on top of each other. And it was just chaos. And then it, the end result was I wasn't reaching for the food because of it. So I really like this, pro this process. Um, I hope that you guys love this video. I'm just kind of giving you guys a little tour through everything. Oh, these sweet bell peppers, those containers are also from Dollar Tree. They come in a bag from the, the grocery store and I didn't want to keep them in the bag and I had these little containers from Dollar Tree so I put the, the peppers in there. And just giving you guys a good close-up shot and now I'm going to show you my Dollar Tree DIY on I'm, I wouldn't call it a DIY really I guess it's more of a hack I suppose and I just take one of these like uh, dry erase boards they have magnets on the back and I this is how I'm writing the date now in my original haul of this video um, for those of you who watch, thank you so much for letting me know that you can just use like a dry erase marker on glass and you can write it that way because then you can dry erase the, the data off and I think that's a great idea. I already bought this so I decided to go with this but you can see here that I'm just writing all of the information down so that I know when things expire. Anyways, that's it you guys. I hope that you found inspiration from this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Yeah.